and one. Hey fitness fans, Andre Briggs here at Paul Gillette's World Body Fitness Federation World Championships in Toronto, Canada. And right here I have Mr. Michael Lesser. Michael, how are you doing today? What's happening, man? Excited to be here, man. So many amazing athletes. Uh, just excited to get on the muscle model stage. So of course, you're a muscle model uh, and just tear it up. So. Okay, so muscle model, yeah, new category. You know, um, let's talk a little bit about that because what we have is um, a lot of guys are really not, not big enough to compete as a pro bodybuilder, sure. but they're not small enough to compete as a male model. Sure. So with the muscle model category, right, like what can they expect and what are some of the criteria? A uh, muscle model, think of like a, uh, a male figure. It's like that in-between stage between bodybuilding and fitness model. The last two years I competed pro fitness model, I always felt like I had to lean down so much that it, that it hurt me in competition, so the muscle model category was, was a better fit for my overall physique. You know, your legs are more judged, uh, it's front to back, head to toe, um, stage presence, a little bit of face and marketability in there, so it's a category that's going to fit the guys you may see on like Status Fitness Magazine reps, that bigger fitness model. When you initially made the transition and you're going over to the muscle model now, what kind of changes have you had to do as far as training or not? Uh, my training has remained pretty much the same. I, I always lift pretty heavy. I keep a lot of uh, you know interval style, sprinting, jumping. I, I love to remain athletic as, as I get ready for competition. My diet was the hugest thing that changed. Uh, I did nine months after the Worlds of uh, bulking by it, about 6,000 a day calories. So that's how I put all the mass on, uh, combined with really <laughs> Okay, now, when I'm going through your Facebook profile, sure. and I'm on your website, get your life. Um, <laughs> I'm noticing that you're, you're dropping the weight, you're dropping the body fat, but you've actually kept your condition in place. you held on to your size. Give me a little piece of what that secret is that has allowed you to to make those changes while still holding on to that muscle. Yeah, that's that's a great question because you know, and, and I've reiterated this with a lot of people. Um, you have to figure out what is best for your particular body. I always went off what I felt everyone else was doing, and that's what I needed to do, rather than really looking at my body. Like I transform people, and so, but but when I think about it, when I get ready for competition, I do what everyone else does. This year, I did it completely different. So I use a lot of things like. Uh, uh, nuts and avocados, I used a lot more fats in my diet this time and stripped my carbs down until the end. That, that's really how I did it. I kept my calories still really high, trained really hard, my protein high, and I kept my carbs. Okay, so now, right here at the world in Toronto, Canada, what are you looking to accomplish? No, 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 hold on, because I know you want to win. I understand the drive that Micah has to win, but what are you hoping to accomplish with this win? Um, you know, my biggest thing, obviously, winning gold and, and winning would be amazing. But I know the transition that I did. I win regardless. I um, mean, at the end of the day, this is more than just me winning a trophy. This is about me inspiring as many people out there that follow me and, and what I'm doing to be the best they can do. That's what. There's where my passion comes from. Subjective judging and bodybuilding and competition. You know, you you have to go into it. You know, wanting to win and training to win, but being okay if you lose. I like that. Now, Micah, for your new fans out there, for the fans that will be watching this, for the fans of the WBFF, is there any last words or any any encouraging words that you would like to say out there for them? You know, the first thing that I can always tell somebody is just believe in yourself. When you believe in yourself, you can accomplish anything that you want to. I started at 18 years old at 140 pounds, dripping wet out of the shower, you know? Like, and so I had this dream. I wanted to be Von Damme. I wanted to be the cover of uh, Muscle and Fitness. Everything can become reality if you set your mind to it, set the goals and work hard. I like that. Now, speaking of Van Damme, all right? <laughs> I want you to tell Frank Dukes. Oh, that's my cat. That's right. You tell Frank Dukes, Uncle Dukes, yeah, hello. Yeah. And Micah, I just want to say congratulations right. and I want to wish you the best of luck. Thank you very All much. Right? Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, I'm Andre St. Clair speaking on behalf of the WBFF Worlds in Toronto, Canada. See you later. Good job.